With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. If we talk about this question, in this question we are asked that how does phototropism occur in plants, right? So first if we talk about the phototropism, so as the name suggests photo, which means light, right? And the tropism means the movement, right? So here it is a process in which basically the movement of, right, movement of plant parts, right the movement of plant parts takes place in response to light right in response to light so basically the response here produced is to is for the light so we can say that the stimulus here in this case is the light right so if we talk about the two parts of the plant right if we talk about the two parts of the plant one is the shoot and the other is the root right so basically shoots they move towards the light right they move towards the light hence we can say that they are positively phototropic right they are positively phototropic right they are positively phototropic whereas the roots they move away to away from the light right they move away from light so we can say that they are negatively phototropic right they are negatively phototropic so basically uh, plants shows phototropism right why plant shows phototropism they shows phototropism right they shows phototropism because of the because of the action of oxen right because of the action of oxen right because of the action of oxens such as such as indole acetic acid right such as indole acetic acid right indole acetic acid or we can say i a a right so here when what happens is so when one side of the shoot right when one side of the shoot is basically in exposure of the sunlight right when one side of the root is an exposure of the sunlight right then the uh, several molecules of iaa or indole acetic acid they move right the molecules of iaa they move towards the opposite side right they start moving on the opposite side or on the shaded side right on the opposite side which is the shaded part right which is the shaded side of the plant which is not under the exposure of the sunlight right so basically here iaa right here what happens is that iaa initiates or starts the cell division right uh, iaa initiates the cell division and elongation right it causes the cell division and elongation or uh, more on the shaded side right on the shaded side whereas uh, whereas and not on the side which is exposed to the sunlight so basically cell division and elongation starts at the shaded side right whereas the side which is uh, under the exposure of the sunlight there the cell division and an elongation does not takes place right so this basically so the cell division and elongation takes place at the shaded side and not on the side and not on the side which is under right which is under the exposure of sunlight right so this leads to the unequal growth right this basically leads to the unequal right this basically leads to the unequal 
growth on both the sides of the plant right on both sides of the uh, shoot of the plant right so in this basically what happens is that the shaded region will grow more right the shaded region of the shoot will grow more whereas the region which is exposed under sunlight right or the region which is exposed under sunlight that will grow less right that will grow less right so this basically causes the shoot right this leads to the right that this leads to the bending of shoot right this leads to the bending of shoot towards the light right towards the light so that is why say that is why we say that the shoot of the plant move towards the light hence it is positively phototropic right so this is what the this is how the phototropism in shoot occurs right for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today